Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is once a week take a look at some of the new makeup releases as seen on Trend Mood and some new indie Instagrammers I'm going to be checking out, and I decide if I'm going to be adding any of these new releases. And I decide if I'm going to be adding any of these new releases to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. Before we jump into this week's products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series every Wednesday. And if you haven't and you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. And in December, I'm going to try to post a video every single day for the rest of the month. So I'm going to need to scoot. There we go. So I guess part of the Too Faced Pretty Rich collection was a lip gloss with Jordan Woods. Who is- I have no idea who this is. Isn't she the one that collaborated with Kylie? Or am I just totally, like, wrong? I have no idea who she is. And I went to her Instagram and it still doesn't really say anything. I guess she models? But yeah, the in the lip gloss looks fairly orangey. I feel like maybe this would have done better in the fall. Like as a pumpkin spice kind of orange lip gloss, but right now it- it- yeah. Meh. It just looks kind of meh. Also, did anyone see- the ridiculousness that was the founder of Too Faced, uh, Jared, at like a birthday party and the cake that they had. Oof. So apparently he was pictured at, or there was a photo taken of him and his partner and the dog at a party and on the table they had a cake and the cake said, rich lives matter. That's some bullshit. Like, you it's not even a good joke. It's, it's, I don't even want to go into like how pissed I was when I saw that, but Jesus Christ, really? I'll throw pictures up and I'll throw a picture up of his apology as well, but this definitely seems more of a, I apologized because someone took a picture and I got caught. Like he wouldn't have even known that anything was wrong with that unless the internet had said so. It just goes to show you, people are just so freaking out of touch. And stupid. And stupid. So e.l.f. just came out with a new line of highlighters. These are called metallic flare highlighters, and I would be willing to try them out. It's a good size pan, there's $6 each, there's four shades, there's white gold, rose gold, 24 karat gold, and bronze gold. I think I would try... The white gold. I think that's the lightest one. I would try that one. I like the packaging. It looks a lot more sleek. It almost looks like, like the old Ulfra packaging, right? I think it looks cute. Six dollars is a good price point. I actually, so I haven't gone to the mall, like, surprisingly, in months. Like, I haven't actually been to a physical mall. But we do have an elf store in our mall. So I do want to go and check out all of these new e.l.f. products because I did place an online order for a full face of e.l.f. and I do have enough products and I'm hoping to film that like this weekend but I haven't actually gone to the e.l.f. store and like tried to check out anything new so we'll see if I can do that before the video but I bought a lot from e.l.f. over Black Friday. <laughs> Holy oh my god. So these I guess they were a set of brushes that were released limited edition and now they're coming back. This is on Beautylish, and it's a pro eye set by Sonia G. It's five brushes for $150. Five brushes for $150. That is $30 a brush. And did I just do that on my calculator because I'm tired and it's early? Yes. No. I Have I ever paid $30 for a brush? Even the nice MAC brushes that I picked up are all under $30. Uh, why are these so expensive? So this new NARS palette just dropped and honestly... Meh. Nah. Like, I don't know. It just, it, it looks fairly boring. You've got like three or four matte neutral shades and then pinky shimmers and glitters. This, I think this would have been a nicer spring release. I don't know why it's coming out just now, but meh. Okay, so what is it with Benefit and coming out with collabs that are just their products? 
like, I guess there's not really a rule that says a collab has to be a new product, but I mean, especially, so let's talk about um, a brand that does this well and a brand that does not do this well. A brand that did this well was Sigma. Sigma came out with brush sets with a bunch of influencers, and they had the influencers pick out their favorite brushes, put them together, and make a kit out of them. I think that was really smart marketing and really great for the brand, because you have a whole bunch of influencers, brushes are something that you can have favorites of, brushes are an investment, so they last a long time, and personally, I love the Sigma brushes. They're great quality, they last years. Benefit though. Whenever they come out with a collab and they just basically have an influencer pick a product out and they come out with a new box to put it in. Really? It's not an investment because it's a product you're going to go through as fast as any other product. And who's going to keep the unit cart in? Because it's got an influencer's face on it. Okay, so I will say, I was tempted by this palette when I first saw it. This is a new palette from Smashbox. This is the Big Cover Shot palette. It is $45. It comes of nine mattes and seven shimmers inspired by the streets, sunsets, and skylines of LA. I think it's really cute. I love the packaging. I think this is such a cute way of arranging shadows because you've got a bigger palette, but they're putting little quads so you can use them together. You can use them in their quads. I think this is set up really well. But when I take a deep dive and look at actu like actually look at the shades, eh, I think it's really nice that instead of putting in a brush, they put in an eyeliner. I think that was really good of them. But I, I don't think I can do it. I have too many palettes and I did try out, it wasn't their cover shot palette, but it was one of their older palettes and I just, I was not a fan of their eyeshadow formula and I ended up decluttering the palette. But that palette did have mostly mattes, so maybe I'm just not a fan of the Smashbox matte formula. But this palette does look nice. I think this is a really great idea if someone doesn't have a whole lot of palettes, or if they really like the Smashbox formula, because you're getting a good array of shadows and you get a liner. So I actually posted about this on Twitter. I'm really excited to try these. These are new um, setting sprays. They're called Photo Focus Primer Waters from Wet and Wild. So I'm assuming they're supposed to be kind of like a Smashbox primer water kind of thing. And they're coming out in three scents. You got rose, cucumber, and coconut. I'm not a huge fan of like realistic coconut. If the coconut is fake enough, like the Too Faced kind of coconut, I can deal with it. But I really want to try the rose and the cucumber sprays. So they're supposed to be more of a primer spray, but I, I really want to get my hands on these. I don't know when, uh, so they're available online now. I don't know if I'm ever going to see them in stores, but I just placed a Wet n Wild order too. Yeah. I, it might be a little bit before I get my hands on these, but I am interested in the rose and the cucumber and they're only $4.99. Physicians Formula is coming out with some new eyeshadow palettes. Now I will say I've never tried any eyeshadow from Physicians Formula because I feel like they just have some kind of run of the mill, uh, I'll say it, boring palettes. These ones actually look really cute. I mean, they're still really neutral. There's more of a warm tone with a pop of blue because everyone has a warm tone with a pop of blue, but they have a neutral palette and I would be willing to pick this up just to try out their formula because I've never tried an eyeshadow palette from them before. And I like the size of this. I like the amount of shades you get and I like the way that it's arranged. So, yeah. intrigued. The palette that I'm specifically intrigued in is Sultry Nights, the more smoky neutral palette. <laughs> is anyone else surprised that these Urban Decay little mini on the run palettes are already on sale? Because nobody asked for these. <laughs> this looks gorgeous. Oh, I am, I am one million percent sucked in by the packaging and presentation of this product. So this is coming in spring of 2018. This is a gorgeous spring release. And this is a highlight from MAC. This is called Fleur Real. Oh my god, I love it. Look at it. I, I want this. Oh Jesus, I'm going to keep my eyes open because... Okay, so I know I do still have some more 
from Trend Nude to go through, but I want to switch gears here and look at the Indie Instagram page that I really want to take a look at. This is Indie Makeup Spotlight, and I just want to go through a few things that I found here. So Sugar Pill, a shade, not shade, a brand that I really do want to try out, is coming out with a whole bunch of new eyeshadows. The ones that I cannot wait for, there's a shade called Tokyo, which is a like magenta and that looks really cute there's also a shade called arsenic which is like this bitter green oh. yes and then there's also a shade called bitter melon and that one is more of a teal and it looks so pretty so like those three i'm interested in and it might be my first sugar pill purchase so this palette while it's neutral I feel like it's a good way to do a neutral palette. These textures intrigue me and I like this packaging. This is the Winter Solstice Collection or the Winter Solstice Palette from Solstice Cosmetics, spelled S-O-U-L, this. The swatches look amazing. I am interested in this palette right now. I think it's still on pre-order, so I don't know if I would pre-order it. I also don't know if it's limited edition or if it's going to be permanent in their collection, but I'm intrigued. Ooh, I have no idea what this brand is, but I'm interested. Look at these lipsticks. These are three new liquid lipsticks from Lethal Cosmetics. So I believe they're already out because this was posted a little while ago, but look at that green. Look at that like peachy kind of deep shade and then look at that like shimmery black. Mmm. Has anyone tried Belladonna Cosmetics? Because they have this Krampus eyeshadow palette that looks dope <laughs> but it's limited edition i don't know if i'm gonna get my hands on it in time but this looks oh, it's different and i like it and i like the green i like the red there's some purples and look at that packaging what are these green shades oh these <laughs> you see how excited i get when i get about green eyeshadow these are a sneak peek of the new Cledona, Clinoda, Cle, Cleona, I cannot pronounce anything, Cleona Cosmetics. A collection inspired by the nature of Northern Canada coming at the end of November. So these are now available. I, I'm assuming they're singles, but look at that swatch though. I get too excited over green things, guys. I don't know why I like green eyeshadow so much. I don't like wearing green clothes, except for with Slytherin stuff. But I just, uh, I get a certain way when I see some green eyeshadow, like this one. This is another new shade released or revealed from Black Rose Cosmetics. Uh, it looks like they're in Australia, though. I don't, I have no idea if I'd be able to get my hands on that. But look at this green. And it's called Absinthe. <laughs> I've heard a whole lot about Sydney Grace. And I've never tried them. I've never really seen anybody actually use them in a video. I just hear, hear people like mention their bundles and their single shades. This is a palette from Sydney Grace. I'm assuming it was in stock. It's called the Autumn's Rain palette. And this looks so pretty. Another example of a neutral palette that I think has done really well. Not sure if I'll be able to get my hands on it, but also they're giving 25% of the proceeds to help victims of the California fires, and that's just really admirable. I really do enjoy that. I have no idea what this is, but I'm intrigued. I'm fast. It's squishy. It's green. It's sparkly. What is it? Oh, I have no idea. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to cut it off right there so I have enough time to actually go and catch my train. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what your favorite indie brands are and if there's any new releases from those brands because I really want to get more into indie makeup. And one of my goals for 2019 is going to be to purchase more from indie brands and get to know them as well as I do the larger brand because I feel like after a couple of years on YouTube as a watcher and a full year of YouTube as a YouTuber, I feel like I know the larger brands well enough. I do want to branch out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope if you liked it, you give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in my next video tomorrow. Tomorrow is very exciting. We're going to see my 2018 Pan That Palette finale. Bye guys.